You know how the only thing getting you through the winter cold is that in six months you know that you'll be back on a beautiful beach? Well, good news, Trump's ruining that too. President Trump's executive order last week declared his plans to dramatically expand offshore drilling for oil and gas. The largest single expansion of offshore drilling activity ever proposed. The five-year plan announced by Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke opens up new areas for oil and gas exploration across the country. Renewed offshore energy production will reduce the cost of energy, create countless new jobs, and make America more secure and far more energy independent. He reads so well. <laughs> Gonna make billions and billions of acres for drilling oil. And knowing Trump, he'll probably use this to compare himself to Abe Lincoln and be like, we both freed black things, folks. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's an ooh. I'll take that for my ooh job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> now, uh, you have to understand, this is a huge reversal of U.S. drilling policy, because America has been steadily moving to limit offshore oil drilling for the past 30 years. But Trump is the only person who watched Deepwater Horizon and cheered for the oil. <laughs> He's like, come on, Slick, you can do it! Kill Mark Wahlberg! He gets more money than women! He's an asshole! <laughs> And this, this isn't even one of those Democrat versus Republican issues. No, if your state has sandcastles, then this move by the administration probably pissed you off. Lawmakers on both coasts and a number of governors, including Republicans, are vowing to fight to protect the waters. This is outrageous, obviously. Devastating to our nation's interests. It's just insane and grossly irresponsible to go chasing some last drop of oil, exposing our beautiful beaches. We don't want it. This just makes sense. Coastal states don't like drilling because pristine beaches bring in a lot of tourism cash, right? People spend their vacation money on house rentals or boat trips or summer foods that they pretend they can't get anywhere else. <laughs> no way, snow cones? It's like grape juice, but slower. <laughs> and these coastal states, they know that when you drill near tourist beaches, this can happen. Millions of gallons of toxic crude gushed into the water for 87 straight days. 1,300 miles of shoreline were marred. Thousands of birds, fish died. Tar, possibly from the spill, has washed ashore in at least three counties to the south. Overnight, cleanup crews scooped up nearly 60 gallons of tar balls. Tar balls? Are you serious? Why would anyone want to risk that? I mean, I guess Trump looks at that and he says, I don't know, guys, I love bad beaches. That's my problem. <laughs> now, now, unfortunately, unfortunately for seagulls, Trump does have the authority to decide what offshore drilling to allow. And even though most states asked the president and Interior Secretary Zinke not to go forward with their drilling plan, they did. Because for them, this is not about favoritism for one state or another. It's about national security, energy independence, the economy, no state is exempt. The Trump administration has exempted Florida from its new proposal to open nearly all U.S. waters to offshore drilling. Governor Rick Scott asked to meet with the Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke, and the result Coastline. was quick. Florida is obviously unique. We're Floridians. Uh, we are not drilling off the coast of Florida. Wow. No drilling in Florida because Florida is unique? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of reasons Florida is unique. Yeah, their state flower is meth. Uh, <laughs> their gators have guns. And it's the only state where you can see Mickey Mouse, a stripper, and your grandparents in the same day. <laughs> so yeah, they're unique. They are unique.